Hey guys and welcome to episode 2 of the tutorial where I teach you how to craft skins with awesome specific floats. So as promised in the previous video, we're going to be attempting to craft a 0.0666666 Statrack Factory New USP print stream in today's video. Now before you continue watching, if you haven't seen episode 1, I would highly encourage you to go watch it before this one because it's going to give you a lot of context and this is the most complicated example out of the three examples in the two parts of this tutorial. Are you looking for cheap low float skins for trade-ups? Check out today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. It's the most convenient trading bot site where you don't have to overpay for low floats. I found this .08 op elite build and this .09 M4 Tooth Fairy and the tradable M4 was delivered to my inventory instantly while the op was transferred to my backpack to be withdrawn as soon as the trade lock expires. If you apply code TechSavvy, you get a 5% deposit bonus and you also get a $5 trading bonus when you start trading. Don't worry if you don't have any skins, just head over to freebies and you'll find three giveaways all the way up to a gut knife gamma doppler and also find some options to get a little bit of free balance. So use my link in the description to start finding deals on low float skins today. So we're going to start off this video by having the trade up already 90% complete. Although this might sound counterintuitive, the first 9 skins you literally don't have to care about the specific floats. So as long as you get the floats to around where it needs to be, just generally around where it needs to be, you can just buy the first 9 skins. The 10th skin is going to be orders of magnitude more difficult to get than the first 9 combined. Alright, so the first step is going to be to figure out what the last skin is that we're going to need. So for that, I am once again going to copy all the skins, all the floats of the skins that we have, and this time I'm going to put a negative sign after them because we're going to be subtracting them in a moment. All right, there we go. The nine skins have been copied in. And now head over to the float website and once again find out the IEEE754 value of the float that you want to craft, which is going to be this for me. Then open your calculator and adjust the average float by the float cap of the skin, which in this case is 0.85. This might be more complicated if you have more complicated float caps, but in this case, this is going to be the average float that we're going to be working with. So we need to multiply that by 10 to get the total float of the 10 skins. And now I'm going to get rid of the two last digits. Well, I'm going to round it to the two last digits there we go and i am going to subtract all these from the average float and we're gonna get this as our last float that we need so we're gonna have to craft the skin with this float so now what you need is you're gonna go here and you're gonna paste that in and you're gonna get the iee754 value again so the last float that we're going to be going for is this number over here. Now if we head over to Trade Up Spy and we add in that for the last float, you should see that you will get the correct float for the USP print stream or whatever skin you happen to go for. So now to decide which skin the last one is going to be, you might be tempted to just use another recoil skin. However, the problem with the recoil skins is that they don't have the same float range. The sawed off has a full float range. The P250 has a 0 to 0.7 float range and the AK is just too expensive. So actually we're going to be using the dreams and nightmares collection because all three of the classified skins have a 0 to 1 float range. So if we get an average float of this restricted to classified we are going to get the right float skin for this trade up so we need to get 10 restricted stat track dreams and nightmares skins with this average float so that is our next target so now we're going to load up the listings for the dreams and nightmares restricted stat track minimal wares and we are going to list out a bunch around the float that we need which unfortunately seems to be not too frequent but there's more on this one so i will list a bunch of these but just by looking at how many floats we have it does not look like we're gonna be able to find a correct combination of floats but nonetheless we shall see because this is much easier than the other alternative which i am probably gonna have to tell you what that is based on <laughs> the number of skins so let me list out a bunch of these and i'll be back soon now once again a quick tip is to not list any skins that are more expensive than what you're willing to pay because if the website tells you that you're gonna have to use it then you won't have any other option than to buy it and if you don't want to pay that much then you're kind of screwed All right, there we go. So I copied a bunch of these. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, go back to the float website. Here we are. Head over to float combinations generator and paste it in to the float section. Then adjust the max and the min floats and adjust the desired float to be 
Well, we calculated. Make sure there's a bunch of zeros over here. We're going to run 8 million combinations. And there is a couple, actually, which should be good. Now, this is where we need to double check everything. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy the first one. We're going to paste it into the notepad. We are going to round it down by two digits. Then we are going to add this up in our calculator. Divide by 10. That's going to be the average float. Next, you copy this. Head over to IEE754, paste it in here. This is gonna give us a slightly different number, but we should still test it. So we come back to the notepad, we add it in over here, and now we gotta add up all these. So I'm gonna change these negative signs to plus signs. And I'm gonna make sure this is a bit lower. And we're gonna add these up in the calculator. We're gonna divide this by 10, multiply, or I should say adjust by the float cap, and paste this back into the desired float and this is actually going to give us the correct combination so in theory we should buy the 10 skins and see what happens so here we go let's load up the market and let's buy the 10 skins that it told us to buy which is gonna be this one 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 and finally this one please Okay, we have all the 10 skins, so let's pop them in a trade up and we will see. We have to double check after this is done that the trade up is correct. So here we go. This is guaranteed to be the skin that we want. Ya yeet. There we go. MP7 Abyssal Apparition. The float looks right, so we didn't really mess up much. But let's see if we have the correct trade up. So to do that, first we're going to do the superficial test on trade ups by. So we're just gonna load up the floats, pop in all the skins that we have over here. 10 skins. It looks good on Trade Up Spy, but let's just make sure by listing out all the floats that we have. All right, so all I have to do is copy and paste the last float over there. Make sure it fits into the calculator. Paste it into calculator. There's a lot of calculator in this one. Okay, so it, for some reason it doesn't want to let me put it in the calculator. Oh, there we go, it did. So now we multiply by 0.1 to get the average float and then we just buy the float cap. That's the average float that we get. And if we paste this back <laughs> into the desired float, it should give us the, the desired float. So boys, here is the final trade up summary. So we're using two factory new skins from the Fracture Collection, one factory new skin from the recoil case, six minimal wear skins from the recoil case, and one minimal wear skin from the Dreams and Nightmares case. This will give us a 10% chance at the Desert Eagle print stream, $30 of profit, 10% chance the AK, Le AK Legion of Anubis massive loss, 5% chance at the, at the Nightwish massive loss, 5% chance at the Starlight Protector massive loss, 35% chance at the Chromatic Aberration massive loss, and a 35% chance at the USB print stream, which is a massive profit. So guys, Let's do it. All right, boys, here we go. I'm really, really, really nervous, but this is probably the biggest and coolest trade up I've ever done. So let's do this. USP print stream, stat track, factory new, 6666666 six, 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 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please give me the USP print stream. Please. Okay, 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 we take it. We take it. It's the Statrack Factory New Desert Eagle print stream. <sighs> oh boy, that is not the best outcome, but that should technically be profit. Although, to be fair, I did overpay for some of these low float inputs, so it's probably more of a break even slash a small loss. Unfortunately, it's not the USB print stream, but hey, I will take that any day of the week over a chromatic aberration or a starlight protector. Oh, the float is unfortunately trash, but it is what it is. So guys, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that I was able to teach you something. This is a really hard concept to grasp, so if you didn't quite get it the first time, don't worry if you try some cheap examples like the AK-47 Safari Mesh, I'm sure you will grasp it in a couple trade-ups. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will be responding to as many as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to Tech Savvy Scientist for ultimate luck.